there is this book I read some time ago, about four years ago. Um, I just bumped into it again and I'm reading it all over. And there's something I've learned from this book. The title of this book is Why Men Don't Listen and Women Can't Read Maps. Yeah, I have the book here. So, this is it. Why Men Don't Listen and Women Can't Read Maps by Alan and Barbara Pease. Amazing book. Men are wired in a certain way, so they don't see or reason the way women do. So if you're a woman and you just sit there and expect your spouse to do the chores, take up some responsibilities, take out the trash, feed the kids, put them to bed, make dinner, then you are going to get frustrated. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks to get your mom to do house chores without nagging, without complaining. Don't go anywhere, keep watching. So most times you hear women complain about piles of chores awaiting them at home. They need to fix this, they need to fix that, they need to do this, they need to do that. And um, the, the man hardly worry about those chores. Why is it so? Is it because they are insensitive, wicked, and lazy? The answer is no. Is it because that's how God has designed it? The answer is no. The world is changing. In fact, the world has changed. Husband and wife now goes to work. They most times return at the same time. Sometimes they come back, for those who already have kids, they come back with the kids at the same time. Now the woman rush off to the kitchen, trying to fix something for the family to eat. While the food is cooking, she takes the kids to the bathroom, bathe them, dress them up, trying to do their homework and, you know, so many things to be done. While the man sits on the couch in the living room, pressing his phone, chatting and watching TV. Now, um, if you want your man to just um, stand up from the chair and come to meet you in the kitchen and help you with the um, chores, you know, maybe feed the kids and do the assignments for them, then you are going to get frustrated. Before the, he is not, your husband is not a wicked person. Your husband is not a wicked person. Now, here is the problem. I want to point out the problem that most women face before we go to the tips. Women assume too much. God, that's one of the problems we have. We assume too much. First, you can, we, we assume and we conclude too fast. And sometimes we say, oh, he's not a domestic person. <laughs> Who says he's not a domestic person? Uh, he doesn't know how to do these things. He doesn't like to do this thing. Um, the mother did not bring him up that way. Sis, have you tried teaching him how to do these things? Who says a man is not domestic? The same energy he used to fix his car, the same energy he used to go to work, not the same energy he used to wash plates. See, the truth is, whatever you allow, whatever you agree, whatever you, you want to do in your marriage, that's what you do. But girl, you're going to burn out. You're going to lose your mind. And you need to stay sane for your kids' sake. So um, recently, I've had like, I've not had any help around and it's been tough for me. And I can't do it on my own. I will always involve my husband to help me do some things. So that takes me to the first thing that you must do to get your man to help you with house chores. The number one is ask. If you don't ask, how is he going to know? See, men just assume that you, you, you got it all covered. And we give them that impression that, oh, we're fine, we're good. You know, they see us as people who multitask, who can do things on our own. We don't really need their help. So they get this impression that all they need to do is go out to work and bring the money while you take care of other things. If you do not ask them to help you do something, then don't blame them. Because they don't know. They don't know that you need help. You need to as you need to stop assuming that they are being insensitive. You need to stop assuming that they don't want to help. Just ask, and I tell you, he's going to help. No man wants to see his wife suffering or um, frustrated or something. They want to help, but they just need you to ask. That's why he sits um, in the living room 
chatting and watching TV or playing game why you're struggling because he feels you have it all covered yeah so first thing you need to learn how to ask them for help and they are going to help you trust me next thing you're going to do is make a list make a list of um, house chores that you know he can do without your supervision so if your husband doesn't know how to cook take cooking out of the list so you put um, taking out the trash cleaning the garage you know some things that you know that they can actually do without you checking if it's okay it's fine so those are things that you can put on the list paste it on the wall get them to know that okay these are the things you need help with and then they should be aware so recently i don't have any help what i do what i did was i told my husband i need you to help me bait the kids when we wake up in the morning while i'm in the kitchen fixing their um lunch and breakfast you understand so he does that without complaining who would have thought that my husband knows how to wear a child diapers the truth is we conclude and just feel they don't know how to do these things so make them aware of the things that you want them to help you with and then you know paste it and or give it to them they know they will do it once you give them the responsibility to go ahead to do it they will definitely do it except for those who just are very wicked i know there are some men that they don't care now i'm going to give you um another trick i'm going to give you another trick yeah this is one of the challenge this is one of the problem that we have we criticize them too much you know we want things to be perfect we want things to be done in a certain way so um, when they do things you feel they don't do it as perfect as you want and then you start nagging and complaining you don't know how to do this you can't simple uh um, dish you can't fix the dishes you can't do this you can't sweep the house um, um correctly you can't wear the diapers correctly see stop criticizing them encourage them stop criticizing them try and um acknowledge the help that they are providing if for instance they wash the dish and it's not not properly clean you can clean it but make him feel good that you actually appreciate what he's doing so he doesn't feel like oh he's wasting his time after all you're still going to complain so what's the point so girls stop complaining stop complaining stop criticizing his efforts if you if you encourage him he's going to do more okay so guys i'm going to share with you one of my secrets now this is the trick don't just do it see um uh, i'll give you an example so my son wakes up at night to cry and normally i would wake up i'm always at alert. i'll wake up i'll rush to their room trying to you know calm him my husband just sleeps now <laughs> what i do is i just go off like i just pretend like i can't hear he takes that responsibility he goes to the room he makes <laughs> he puts them back to bed and you know everybody is happy so if you're always forward if you're always he will just relax you know that's how men that's how men think so try and go off sometimes you know if um they need to do assignments and just go off let him do it you know let him do it let him take the responsibility and they will do it for you they'll do it perfectly they won't don't tell them don't instruct them just pretend like you cannot see it so for instance if your child pours water on the floor just pretend like you can't see it and watch him pick them up and clean the floor okay so that is one of my tricks i just shared with you guys now this is it try and give them credit for what they do if he wakes up on saturday morning take out the trash and then start cleaning please acknowledge him appreciate him give him credit we nag too much stop nagging if you stop complaining and stop nagging and praise him for what he's doing trust me he's going to do more put your perfection you know women we like perfect i want the house clean in this manner i want the kitchen looking like this put it aside and appreciate their effort try and make sure that they feel good about what they have done or what they're doing so find time to tell him you really really appreciate what he's doing 
all right don't forget to subscribe and also check out some of my other videos this is parenting on the go and i say see you next time bye